Okay. <clears throat> okay, so hi everyone. My name is Arthur Krieger. I am working for Delta Electronics in Germany as a software engineer. And uh, today I want to uh, give you an introduction into our PowerShell controller, uh, the interfaces that uh, work inside the shelf and outside the shelf, and some uh, interesting ideas that you can do by using the Redfish interface. Okay, so first our power shelf. Uh, most of you probably know this already, but uh, typically we have a shelf with six PSUs. And uh, on the top, you can see on the top left is a power, power management controller uh, called PMC. And this um, controller uh, gives you the uh, ability to connect to the power shelf via Ethernet, gigabit Ethernet. And I just want to say this is not an IPMI port because we don't like using IPMI, we like using Redfish. And um, generally this controller um, has a dual flash layout, so we have two flash chips and we have a hardware watchdog monitoring the health status. And in case something bad happens, we are able to switch to our backup flash design. So very high resilience design here. Um, we sign our PSU and uh, PMC firmware with a hardware security module. Um, our PMC allows uh, power over Ethernet, so even if your AC input is uh, not available, you are able to uh, connect to the PMC and get information about your PSUs and uh, check the logs and so on. Um, yeah, furthermore, inside the shelf, um, currently we are mostly working with PM bus. But uh, right now we're also working on supporting uh, power supplies uh, that talk CAN or Modbus. Um, generally, uh, in terms of monitoring, what you can do with the PowerShell controller is uh, that you can uh, uh, read event logs, uh, check the sensor data, and also we have some general redundancy monitoring for the shelf, usually N plus one. Um, yeah, our firmware is based on the OpenBMC uh, software stack and is built with Yocto. And also in general, if you're interested in the PowerShell, we of course uh, support you with the integration, the testing and so on, all the things you know. Okay, uh, regarding the PSU interfaces at Delta, we basically see uh, three interfaces inside the shelf. So from the PSU side, this is uh, mainly the PM bus. Um, that's the most common one. And uh, regarding PM bus, um, what we see uh, uh, in comparison to the other options is that it's not a differential uh, signal, so it's more susceptible to interference inside the power shelf, and it's a bit slow. Um, also, we see Modbus and Ken, and um, these are differential, so they work a bit better on the power shelf. Uh, mod is a bit slower and can can be quite fast, yeah, okay. So on the bottom left, uh, you see uh, generally um, uh, here now the uh, power shelf and uh, here's something you can see, it's called PMC light. This is not our actual PMC, but uh, more like a, like a relay card. That's why we call it PMC light. And what it allows you is uh, to basically connect directly inside the bus system in the power shelf. Uh, so you can directly communicate with the power supplies with the specific uh, interface that they have. So for example, usually you see some, someone you know, have some kind of communication box that they then connect, for example, directly to the PM bus and then um, have a PC where they have some adapted user interface um, that they use to uh, interact with the power shelf controller, uh, with the power supply, sorry. Um, yeah, and um, of course what we um, uh, also have is a PMC, right? It looks almost the same, but it has a bit more components on it, right? And um, this PMC, then of course it doesn't, you cannot directly talk PM bus or CAN or something, but uh, what we provide here is an Ethernet, a standard Ethernet interface, and in our case we mostly like uh, running Redfish, but in general you can also run the other protocols that are common data centers, uh, for example IPMI or SNMP, or maybe also just a web interface. <clears throat> and what this allows you, of course, is um, you can connect multiple uh, clients or you, know, you can have some kind of um, 
process uh, some kind of service running that's monitoring uh, the power shelves, that's uh, you know, processing the data. This is something you can do uh, with, with Ethernet and especially with Redfish. Okay, and obviously what, what this also gives you is some abstraction from inside the power shelf. So it doesn't matter anymore if you use PMBOS or CAN or Modbus, you know, outside you always have Redfish. And, you know, we can also switch the power shelf or the, uh, the controller and you will still have the same interface. So it gives you some stability on the client side. Okay, so generally a quick overview of our firmware. As I said, it's based on OpenBMC. So, um, Generally, this is like a very simple abstraction, uh, how it looks like, but you know, we have a U-boot bootloader, we have a Linux kernel, and in Linux kernel, we have all the drivers to access the hardware, and on top of that, on top of that we run a bunch of system D services, and basically, these are communicating via D-Bus, um, you know, simply said. And <clears throat> yeah, and um, of these uh, system D services, um, you know, some of these um, are interfaces which you can see on the top. So, for example, very common SSH, IPMI, or Redfish. And also, we have a web interface, or OpenBMC provides a web interface that is based on the Redfish interface itself. Okay. And so, what is Redfish? Uh, Redfish is very simply said a REST full interface. Um, that means you can use the standard HTTP methods like get, post, patch, and so on and you have the standard HTTP responses, like you maybe know 200 or 404 from other web, uh, web um, applications, yeah? And generally, uh, the data is mostly in, in human-readable JSON format. And the thing is about this one, that it's standardized by DMTF, and the standardization of this REST interface, this is what we call Redfish. Um, some examples of what you can do with Redfish. Um, of course, you can read all the information about the PSU, the configuration you currently have, uh, serial numbers, and so on. But also, you can access all the sensor data. You know, like some, some chefs have over 200 sensors that you can then access quite quickly via Redfish. Um, also, we provide uh, logging, especially event-based logging. Uh, which means you as a client can subscribe to the, uh, to the PMC and once an event is raised, you immediately get a, a push notification. Um, and of course, you know, one of the most important things is the PSU and uh, PMC software updates where we also provide solid uh, support for, yeah. Okay. Mm. Okay, just so one example, you know how this looks like. Um, if you're dealing with uh, Redfish, uh, you can use various kind of tools. You can even use your web browser, or you can use Postman or Curl uh, to do a, a Redfish request. Uh, for example, this one is a very simple one. Uh, basically, what we need to provide when we're using Curl is uh, the username, the password. Then we say, okay, we want to do a GET request, you know, um, and then we uh, uh, give him the URI uh, from uh, the specific Redfish resource that we want to pull. And, you know, um, once I enter that into call, then uh, what I get back is one uh, JSON string, right, where I, for example, here have uh, the output voltage of the power shell, right? Okay. Um, also to show quickly is um, also our web interface, which is based on the OpenBMC Web View project and is customized for our power shelf. And um, yeah, here you can see the general stuff like event log, all the hardware information um, about the power shelf and the power supplies. Um, you can read all the sensor information and filter them. So uh, basically the web UI um, gives you a, a, a subset of the features that Redfish allows, but like the most basic stuff is already covered there. And I think it's a nice entry for people to first, um, you know, check out the web UI before they um, go into Redfish. Yeah. And obviously, also in the web browser, as I said, you can just pass, uh, you can just um, go through the Redfish interface in your web browser and check all the all the data there already. Yeah. Okay. Um, one last example I also want to give um, is, um, you know, the processing of the data from the power shelves, right? Because when you have the Redfish interface, uh, what you can do, for example, let's say you use an elastic stack, which seems to be kind of popular right now. 
Um, and what you can do is, you know, process all the log data from all the power shelves, right? And, but also what you can do is um, pull all the sensor information um, uh, into the Elastic um, search. And um, this then allows you to, for example, run uh, some nice features like anomaly detection on, on your PowerShell data. And um, of course, you can use something like Kibana to visualize it all. Um, but also in general, you know, um, I, I think um, I see some customers, um, you, you know, pulling a lot of data from our PowerShell. And I think that's a good thing, especially if you also um, use the Redfish interface that your other devices in your uh, data center provide and, and combine them and then, uh, you know, really uh, look into the data. And, and um, I think this can give some nice insight into how, you know, your usage uh, of your servers and your PowerShell uh, combine. Yeah. Okay, and then in conclusion, um, really the point I'm trying to make is um, that people should try to use the standard Ethernet interface with the Redfish standard because in general these are pretty simple uh, and uh, usually much easier to deal with than um, any customized um, kind of application that we are seeing. And of course it allows you the benefit of you know, having a standard Redfish interface which your other BMCs probably also already have. Um, and also in general, some customers they still use IPMI and they're using it for like 20 years or something. Um, but also I want to really suggest everyone try to switch to Redfish if you can. It's really easy. Uh, uh, it's much easier than using IPMI. Especially IPMI doesn't provide uh, lock events. So people use IPMI in combination with SNMP and then, you know, Redfish is just mu much easier to deal with. Okay, and then a quick word about our next uh, generation of PowerShell controllers we are currently working on. Um, it will provide a much better performance. Right now we see you know, some customers pulling really a, a lot of data all the time, so we will improve on that front. And also, we, as I said, we will support more um, power supply interfaces like CAN and Modbus, and also some other features like Secure Boot. Yeah, and that was it. Uh, now we have Two minutes left for questions. Um, if nobody has questions, then you know I will be available at the Delta booth. So if you want to talk about PowerShell interfaces or Redfish, you know, feel free to come by and talk to me. Okay, thank you. <laughs>